This video is in response of a, of a We Think radio show that I did a couple of weeks ago where we were talking about religion. And I'm known for having my, you know, very, very strong uh, opinions. It's, it's, it's a gift and a curse for me. It's always been like that. And I wanted to, like, go further in on why I am a very strong non-believer in religions. Um, now this is coming from a perspective of a person who grew up, you know, Christianity, you know, Islam, Europe, or Buddhism. If, if it had something to pray to, my mom prayed to it. And it really gave me a first hand um, like a first-hand experience on religions and the thing that that um, that I've the conclusion that I've come to is that if you're going to critique one you have to critique them all and the thing that that really hit home for me to make me question it was actually it was three strikes it was three defining moments in my life. Uh, the first one was right around the time I had to be maybe in third or fourth grade when I was just being taught reading comprehension. And I remember getting a certain, you know, look in Sunday school when I questioned uh, or I raised the question why at the top of each page it said the gospel according to, meaning that that was just hearsay. It was like, this is just what that person said it is. It's not necessarily what it is. The gospel according to. And I just remember getting those strange looks like, you know, just shut up and just, just say it. Don't question it. Which... If anybody knows me, it does not work well for me not to be able to question something. And, you know, fast forward a couple of years when it was more, my household was more practicing uh, Islam. I had to be maybe like in the sixth grade and picture it, sixth grade, 1983 in Mississippi, like Bible Belt, Mississippi. And I remember a classmate coming to me, just real random, and said that I was talking to my pastor about you, and he said that you're going to hell because you don't believe in God. And I just remember thinking, like, that's a strange thing to say to a 12-year-old. Like, what, what do you, what is it about your religion that will make you want to deliver that message to a very good-hearted, smart, intelligent, uh, growing uh, person that never did any type of ill will against anybody that you knew of. So <laughs> I just thought that was really strange. And the last thing that really hit it home for me and you know, by no means am I trying to make fun of anybody. I'm not trying to even tell someone else to believe the way that I believe. I really believe that, you know, I really believe in, like, individual thoughts, self-expression. Uh, great minds don't think alike. They think for themselves. I really, really believe in that. But I remember when uh, the Pope got shot. And the reason why it was a big a moment because in the town that I lived in in Mississippi called Mount Bayou, there was a Catholic school there and that's where all the well-to-do uh, people went. They sent their school kids to the Catholic school. I can't remember the name of it, but it was some saint something. And it was a big, you know, hoop to do over there. And I remember not when he got shot, I'm not even talking about why God didn't deflect the bullet or anything like that, you know. Uh, 
that probably right there would be too trivial and just would shut down a lot of argument. But it wasn't the fact when he got shot. It was more, I remember watching him when he reemerged, and he reemerged in the Polk Mobile. And it was, the Polk Mobile was designed to prevent him from getting shot again. And I'm like, shouldn't he be the first one, like, in line or not? And shouldn't mind going to the heaven that he believes in? Like, even he doesn't want to go, so that put enough doubt on me, enough doubt in me, rather, for me to come to my own conclusion, which is a believer, well, one, there's no, there's no need for belief if you know, and I prefer to base my actions on what I know and not necessarily what I believe. There is a big difference in what you believe and what you know, so that's what I've done, that's what I do, and that is what has allowed me to obtain the successes that I have to date. Again, I want to emphasize this is not a anti-Christian, anti-religion. Uh, I'm not trying to thought project saying that, that you you are wrong for your beliefs. Uh, but what I am saying is I'm not wrong for mine.